hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog so um it is monday and i just got back home from work a while ago it is 7 30 p.m and i got a package in the mail so i just wanted to unbox this or un wrap it and show it to you these are books it's actually a book set and i'm really really excited about it because i've been wanting this for so long now um so i just wanted to open it on camera oh it's in a plastic wrap <gasps> so i got the folk of the air trilogy I don't know if it's trilogy or trilogy. No, trilogy, yeah. This is so beautiful. It is the entire um, set of the books. And I just got this for like 609 rupees, which is amazing. So yeah, here it is. It looks so beautiful. And I can't wait to like open this. Like, I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, I got it. So, this is the first book, which is The Cruel Prince. Then I have the second book, The Wicked King. Hmm, I like the cover more than I imagined I would. And then I have the last book, which is The Queen of Nothing. I love the silver and the gold, that's so pretty. Um, but yeah, those are the three books. And I am just so, so excited to read these. I'm actually gonna start this, I feel, right after my current read. So yeah, really excited and I will be filming a new vlog for these hopefully. But I'll just go through what I'm reading currently and then I'll go and get back to the things I'm currently doing because I have so much to do and then get to bed really early. But I am, or I did start reading um, Sputnik Sweetheart by Murakami today. I do have two bookmarks in here because this is from my previous book. So I had got my previous book which was Never Let Me Go from the library. So I returned that today and I got my bookmark back. But I'm using this really pretty bookmark that I made for this. Um, there we go. It is so, so pretty and... Um, yeah, I have not read much in this at all though, so I cannot give you anything currently, but I'm on page 5, which is not good. So I definitely need to catch up on reading this more before I can say anything about it. And besides this, I am listening to two fiction audiobooks. One of them is Unfixable by Tessa Bailey, if I'm not wrong, and this is just like a romance book kind of smutty not really a lot of smut so far i am 36 percent in but it's about this girl who escapes her like city and goes to this irish or ireland if i'm not wrong and she um is basically escaping her city because of a bad breakup and um you know that's where the unfixable name comes from because her ex-boyfriend was trying to fix her from her past and everything um, and she like won this photography contest which was why she could go to Ireland and she meets this like arrogant guy there who um, whose name is Sean or Shane sorry Shane and he's like a racer and he owns the inn she's staying at and that's how this is i'm honestly not like loving it at all it's just a i feel an entertaining read to listen to like when i'm doing nothing or when i am not not doing nothing but when i'm doing my chores but nothing that i'm loving honestly and i am also reading um, or listening to another audiobook which is a fiction which is way better and that is called one of those flings um so i'm loving this one just because this is a full cast audiobook with like a lot of um background music noise everything it kind of feels like um it's a movie and you have like all these sound effects it's crazy but it can be a little confusing to listen to just because you don't have one narrator you have different people talking kind of like a movie so yeah you have to be 
paying attention to it, which is why I'm not listening to it when I'm doing random stuff. But it's a very short audiobook. It's under two hours, so I feel like um, it's great to listen to in one go. Just that I haven't had the time to do that. But yeah, really enjoying that a lot. And it is about a girl who basically believes in being single. She has been single for like a year and she uh, wants to go out trekking or something and she I guess meets this guy there and it's like a very summery story which is great for now because it is kind of summer here in India. So yeah, that's what I'm listening to these uh, three books or what I'm reading and I will keep you updated over the week uh, with my progress and um, I am li not listening to, I'm reading um, a non-fiction book on my Kindle as well um, which I've been reading for ages so I need to finish it. I'm actually in the middle of two non-fiction books. My goal is to really get through these soon. Um, one of them is The Shallows by Nicholas Carr. Um, so I haven't really read this at all since a few months I would say like at least two months or so because I haven't been in the mood for non-fiction so I've been reading a lot of fiction and I also did end up watching a lot of movies last month which is why I did not read at all um, and even k-dramas and stuff so hoping to get back into reading that non-fiction and I also kind of I feel DNF'd Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert I actually have the physical copy with me but I just don't want to take it out now but I really hated that book but I'm gonna try and just skim through all the parts that I feel are good and just finish that as well so these two books um, that are non-fiction that I really want to complete so that I can start a new book um, I really want to start either Deep Work by Cal Newport or Hyper Focus by Chris Bailey or Atomic Habits um, by I forgot the guy named James Clear or something um, just because I want to read something about focus, I just feel like my mind keeps going astray all the time and I really want to read something like that. And I also really badly want to read The Body by Bill Bryson. So, um, yeah, there are quite a few non-fictions I want to read, so I have to get through the ones I'm reading so that I can pick up another non-fiction. Um, but yeah, so much to do i am gonna end this clip because this is so long but i will see you soon with some reading updates probably like day after or so because i'll be a little busy but yeah hopefully this is gonna be um a lot of books that i read reading vlog i don't know what i'm saying i'm just gonna go